industrialized countries of the world, mining and civil construction are huge multi-billion dollar industries. Mining alone accounts for approximately one half of the total exports of Australia and South Africa, while civil construction is a large and vital component of the economy of Europe, Japan and the US. The mining and civil construction industries are the basis for hundreds of products and services that have changed the way we live. Yet ironically, very little has changed in mining technology in over a century. For example, the underlying structure for modern hard rock excavation is over 120 years old and is predominantly based on the use of the drill and blast method. Whilst this method is adaptable to many challenging situations, it is cyclical in nature and therefore limited. In tunneling or mine development, a complete drill and blast cycle can take up to a full shift. The resulting advance is usually limited to about three to five meters. There is now a new innovative technology to supersede conventional mining methods. It represents a fundamental breakthrough in rock breaking technology known as penetrating cone fracture technology or PCF. The name is derived from the distinctive geometry of the fracture pattern generated by this method of excavation. Developed by sunburst excavation, PCF is a small charge controlled fracture method based on the use of propellant rather than explosive or mechanical energy. This method is designed to break rock in small volumes. Yields will vary between 1.5 and 2.5 cubic meters per shot and can be controlled down to a half cubic meter for selective excavation. The PCF method retains all the benefits of the drill and blast method, such as the ability to excavate non-uniform cross sections and adapt to different rock conditions. PCF equipment can remain at the working face and excavate on a continuous basis. It can also be semi-automated and operated remotely. Safety is another significant advantage of PCF technology. Imparting a small level of ground vibration, PCF is ideal for operation in poor ground conditions and sensitive urban areas. These levels do not damage either the surrounding rock or sensitive structures in the vicinity of the excavation. So whilst access to the working face is always available, operators do not need to work under any unsupported ground. Over the past few decades, considerable research has been focused on the individual elements of the drill and blast system. This work has improved overall cost effectiveness, but gained very little in fundamental technological advancement. For example, continuous mining systems such as road header machines are limited to softer rock. Tunnel boring machines are capable of continuous operation in hard rock, but their use is limited to long straight runs and circular cross sections. By comparison, the PCF method is faster, more efficient and versatile. The process involves drilling a short hole up to a meter in depth and then inserting the gas injector into the hole. It is then fired to fragment a small volume of rock. PCF fractures the rock at a much lower stress level and with much greater energy efficiency than any other rock breaking methods. Since the method imparts substantially less energy to the rock, the resulting fly rock is essentially eliminated. Consequently, an operator can work with enhanced effectiveness using the PCF method. The technology is based on the rapid pressurization of a short drill hole, and the key to effective operation is to pressurize only the bottom of the drill hole. The process operates by propagating pre-existing or percussive drill-induced fractures that intersect at the bottom of the drill hole. The PCF method is also effective in the breakage of large boulders. A relatively light charge placed in the center of the boulder is sufficient to quickly break the boulder into several smaller pieces without fly rod. Initially, PCF technology has been incorporated with a continuous loading machine designed by ITC of Switzerland and manufactured by Schaaf in Germany. To date, over 170 of these machines have been sold worldwide. Equipped with a variable flow hydraulic breaker, these machines can scale, break oversize and trim profile. The versatile boom on which the breaker is mounted is also used to load the broken rock. When added to the ITC machine, Sunburst PCF technology transforms it into a continuous hard rock excavation system capable of excavating a wide range of rock types and strengths. The PCF machine includes a second boom assembly for the hydraulic rock drill and a PCF gas injector. The cycle of locating the shot hole and positioning the PCF boom, drilling the hole, indexing, then inserting the gun and firing the gas injector normally takes between three and 10 minutes. Since the face being excavated is advanced in small increments, the PCF process takes full advantage of available geologic conditions and can be readily adjusted to accommodate changing ground conditions. Sunburst will focus its developmental efforts in four primary areas, each of which utilize the various strengths of PCF technology. These are mine development drifting, narrow vein and narrow reef mining, 
excavation in urban and other sensitive areas, and civil tunnelling. Sunburst is currently operating its first full-scale excavating machine based on PCF technology to develop drill drifts in the ore body of Western Mining Corporation's Perseverance Mine near the town of Leinster in Western Australia. This machine is called the Sunburst ITC 415 PCF Excavator. While the demonstration project is in its early stages, the project results are encouraging and consistent with results produced through three years of technology and prototype development. Sunburst expects to begin undertaking other demonstration contracts on a worldwide basis over the next 18 months. The results of these will lead to development of a broad range of machines for the mining and civil construction industries. Sunburst is currently developing a smaller machine called the Sunburst ITC215 PCF excavator, which will be applicable to smaller tunnels and development drifts. This machine can also be applied to certain types of production mining operations where, because of the small charge nature of PCF, it has the potential to significantly reduce ore dilution. The combination of PCF and hydraulic breakers works as an extremely flexible excavation system, capable of high production rates with effective control of the geometry. Because this is such a straightforward method of breaking rock, it has allowed the development of a machine which is relatively simple compared to TBMs, road headers and others such as the mobile miner. Based on current performance data, PCF continuous excavation machines are expected to outperform road headers and drill and blast over the large range of conditions between very soft rock and the hardest rock environments. Sunburst's leading edge PCF technology represents a significant advance in general hard rock excavation practice that is set to revolutionize the mining and civil construction industries.